able to overcome the temptations. We can overcome whatever comes our way through the strength which you give to us. Amen. O oh Lord and our King, come and lead us through the service. Speak to us and speak to our hearts. O oh Lord, that we are to do here, we do it for your glory and to the glory of your name. Amen. O oh Lord, we are helpless. But we believe we can draw strength from you. Yeah. In your words, Lord, we draw strength. Oh, Lord, empower us. Yeah. Lead us and make our hearts to draw understanding from you. Yeah. Lord, that we do not go according to the pattern of this world, but to stand on the promises that you have given unto us, yeah. Lord. You saved the children of Israel from our uh, Egypt. Lord, you give life. You heal. Amen. You bless. Amen. You do wondrous things that ordinary people cannot explain. Lord, we are expecting that you will be able this afternoon. Amen. Lord, we humble ourselves and we say, speak and do your will upon our lives this afternoon. Amen. Lord, we surrender. Amen. We said, take over, Lord. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Okari. Our announcements will remain as the same. Only to add that the kids have practice on Saturday from 12 o'clock for their upcoming Christmas concert. So please, parents, let's make avail or make them available. And God will bless us. For the rest of the service, we will have a song. And after the special song by the choir, then we are going to have testimonies. We want three people to give testimony of what God has done for them for the past weeks or year. Anybody can stand up. We leave the room for anybody to stand up and give glory to God. And after that, after that testimony, it will be concluded by a solo by Brother Tangeni, of which we will have the word of the Lord. And after the word of the Lord, we will sing again a congregational song before we go now and speak. God bless you. Oh, glory to Jesus. 
Jesus, my Savior and King, with all the blessed joy, to wait is unending, a grateful listening, the Lord of us he the Lord of us is called the Lord of us he told, O planting the mountains from Calvary's mountain, the Lord of us he saving my soul Amen. and I thank God so much because he is faithful Amen. It's, it's really not of any good thing that I have done that he has called me and been keeping me and I want to thank God especially over the weekend I wasn't feeling well and I was in bed the whole Sunday and I thank him that on the next day when I prayed over myself. You know, I remember that the minister said that you can lay your hand on yourself and pray over it. I said, God, ah, you say when I ask for healing, you will heal me. You know, I prayed that over the night. And in that night, you know, I couldn't sleep properly. I would wake up feeling very dizzy, feeling like vomiting, but nothing would come out. And then ah, in the morning, I was much better. Amen. I went to the doctors for them to check me, but they said they don't know what's wrong, but I'm okay now. And, and I thank God for that. Amen. And I thank God especially also for the people that I meet here in church, and also some Christians that I've met at my workplace, because they've helped me really a lot. Amen. You know, I, I like to talk about God, and, and, and their lives here with my brothers here have been challenging me to get closer to God. So um, I have only one request that you pray for me, that I may get to know God more and to try out the things that I'm reading in his word. You know, because when Jesus left, he said that when he returns, the question he asked was whether he would find faith on the earth. And, and I want to try out my faith. I want to try out whatever is in the Bible. Yeah. Thank you. I also want to thank God for the power uh, I need to learn to heal. And I think it was last week. Uh, I was also just not feeling well all of a sudden. Uh, the blood was floating just in my, in my hand. You know, there were balls of red, red blood. So, uh, the first time I told my wife that I don't know what's going on, but my palm doesn't uh, look as, we, as it used to look. I said, maybe you should go and hear what the doctor says. Of course, <laughs> I, I went to the doctor. Mm -hmm. And he didn't also know, so it was like, uh, to be honest with you, mm -hmm. it's my first time I'm seeing this, uh, so I don't know what it is. But anyways, let's just uh, uh, take blood and then you go and analyze, hear what they say and so forth. And you may take also this one just to try, maybe it's, it's an allergy and stuff like that, you know. I knew he didn't know, he didn't have a clue, so he gave me uh, that medicine, I took it home and I didn't really bother drinking it so much, uh, you know, I started skipping the drinking hours and so forth, because I knew it wasn't sure. So, they took the blood, after three days, everything disappeared, and that's the power of prayer. Yeah. And I really want to thank God that if God can do this for my body, uh, of course, He can do it for all of us who are here, and we are just a problem of God. Above all, pray that can make heaven my home. There is no There is no There is no 
the book of uh, uh, First Peter chapter two, verse nine. Yes, Peter chapter 2, verse 9, I, I read. To verse 9. But ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, and holy nation, a peculiar people, that ye should show forth the praises of him who have called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Amen. Let's also read Titus chapter 2 verse 14. Titus chapter 2 verse 14. Who gave himself for us that he might redeem us from all iniquity and purify unto himself a peculiar people, zealous of uh, good works. Amen. May the Lord bless us. Amen. So, for the few minutes that we have before us, we are going to consider the topic peculiar people. Amen. Peculiar people. Amen. So, in other words, one thing that we have to know is that uh, we are peculiar people. Amen. All of us are what? Peculiar people. And what, the, what does the, the word peculiar mean? Peculiar means special. In other words, distinctive. Uncommon. And God has called us for us to be uncommon. In our first reference that we read, let's just quickly go there. And see the steps, the, the adjectives that God has called us. Say, so you are a chosen generation. Amen. We thank God for God is telling us that we are a chosen generation. These promises here, they were also given in the Old Testament for the people of Israel. When God called the people of Israel from the land of Egypt, and then He took them to the to Canaan, the promised land. God told them, it's, when, it's the first time that God told them that they were a chosen generation and that they were also a peculiar people, a royal priesthood, that they should show forth the praises of him that they called you out of darkness into the marvelous light. So, these peculiar people, we are seeing here from the last sentences of our verses that uh, who have called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. See, when we are talking about something peculiar, we are talking about something which is like a treasure, Amen. like a jewel, precious gems. And uh, our soul is just saying that Jesus is coming to take what? His jewels. May I be counted among those jewels. May you be counted among those jewels. So, we are seeing here that those people are those people that uh, they were delivered from darkness. In other words, they were born sinners, as we all are, are born sinners. But they have made the decision of repent from their lives of sin. And as they, they repented from their lives of sin, Jesus saved them. So he removed them from darkness and to light. So that's why he's saying here, after you are being saved, when you are born again, you become a precious jewel to Christ. Amen. The Lord bless us. Who want to be special? I want to be special. Everyone want to be special. May the Lord bless us. So as we rise, as we rose our hand, we are praying that our heart will help us also to have the same spirit of recognize that we can draw close to God by removing our sins, by confessing our sins to Jesus. And as he saves us, we are now delivered, and therefore, we can become peculiar, peculiar treasure. So, uh, I think some of you know, I, I, actually, I'm reading geology at university, and we know this, we see the, how the expensive, the 
for a material to be very expensive, it depends upon the, mater the elements, the chemical elements that are inside that material. Mm -hmm. And it depends whether it can easily be found or can be uh, difficult to be explored or mined. So, as we know, who among your son have seen diamonds on the street? Of course, none of us. Or gold on the street? Of course, none of us. But uh, we see diamonds perhaps on the television and we know that the price of diamonds is very what? It's very expensive. Why? Because it's a rare jewel, it's a rare material to mine. Also, we are saying that when you are Christian, you are, you are very expensive. Why? Because God has deposited into your heart the most expensive, rarest, dearest jewel, which is Jesus Christ. He took it from heaven and he didn't pay anything. By the way, he, he took him from heaven and he came on earth, he died for us, and when you are saved, he deposits Jesus Christ in your heart. That's why we are saying you are very expensive. Yeah. You are special. Yeah. Know that you are special. And because you are special, therefore, you should behave in a special manner. Amen. Don't compare yourself with the other people around the world. No, you are special. Yes. Compare yourself to the Word of God. Amen. And as you are like the Word of God, you can be, you'll be able to attract the blessings of the Word of God upon, yes. upon your life. May the Lord bless us. Yes. As we know, all of us are different. God created us differently. So all of us are equal because we are created by God. But God has endowed us with different gifts and different talents which differ from one to another. Our fingerprints are not equal. Even our eye print, because our eyes also are different, they are not equal. So that's how marvelous God has created us. He created us in such a way so that as we acknowledge, and the psalmist said, we are fearfully and wonderfully made. Amen. May the Lord bless us. So as we see ourselves as a special jewel, especially when we come to, when we are saved, because a sinner is not special. I mean, you are created by God, yes. If you are not special today, God can make you special. Amen. So, but we are saying we become dear to God when we live our life of sin and we become born again. And therefore, there should be some observ observable characteristics. In other words, what we are should be able, people should be able to see. Don't tell to me that you're a Christian. Show me that you're a Christian. Through your words, through your charity, through your love so that other people can also be attractive to Christ. May the Lord bless us. Amen. Remember, if you take a gold and you leave it on the street, after some time, it can get corrupt. In other words, it can rust, or it can get dust, it can get, it can get, uh, it can broke, it can, it can break over a long time. So likewise, when we are saved, and we are made special to her. If we do not consecrate, if we do not allocate time for us to make the spiritual exercises like prayer, reading the word of God, attending the house of God continually, we might lose it. So that's why God is telling us that we, there is a need after we have been saved, after we are becoming a new, a new creature and a precious Jew for us to take care of our spiritual life so that we'll be able to stand uh, the rest will be able to stand the different situation that life is going to bring upon us. May the Lord be with us. So, because we are special, the way we dress should also be special. The way we talk should also be special. The friendship we keep should also be special. Our Even our virtual friends on social media, Let's make sure that we are dealing with a special friends. Friends that have the common goal. Friends that are also interested to go to heaven. Those are the kinds of friendship that we should, we should keep. May the Lord be with us. Even the books that we read should be books that add value into our spiritual life. And not books that diminish value in our spiritual life. 
And we are saying we are not just Jew, but um, we are what? We are, uh, the book says, we are also a royal priesthood. He said we are, once we are born again, God is calling our royal priesthood. Yeah. See, you might not be a pastor here in church, but in, in your school you are a pastor also. Yeah. Because you are born again, you can also preach, you can also invite your friends to church, you can tell them about the gospel. And we also what? We also what? The Bible says that we are, it talks about kingship as well. Priesthood, we are generation, a royal, a royal priesthood. In other words, we are royal, we are families of king. Why? Because we are, we have, the, we have Jesus Christ in us and we are co-heir. With, uh, with Christ. May the Lord be with us. Amen. So, we are saved to show forth the praises of Him that has delivered us out of darkness unto the marvelous, marvelous night. So, but before we can become friends of Jew, just as we mentioned, we need salvation, and salvation is like the P number. Salvation is the P number into the kingdom of God. How did I describe it? A P number. So in other words, once you are saved, you have access to everything of the kingdom of the kingdom of God. May the Lord be with us. I, will, I, I don't want to waste much time. Just as I'm drawing to conclusion, I just want to say, as Melchizedek son, Jesus is coming to pick up his jewels. May I be count one of them, may you be count one of them. Amen. In Malachi, I said, when he come that day, when he come, you pick up his jewels. And uh, it's those jewels that are ready that you'll be able to go, to go with Christ. And the responsibility that we have today is to shine. See, we have to shine. In our school, we have to excel. So the Bible said, what? You're going to be the head and not what? The tail. Those promises, they're not just put in there they can be materialized in our lives if we obey God. But remember, the scripture says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness and all other things shall be added unto us. The problem is we have been looking for all other things and we are forgetting that one important thing. Today, if you seek the kingdom of God, I will say what? Surely mercy and goodness shall follow you all the days of your life. So stop running after the blessings. Should the blessing should be the one running toward you. Just as you are walking and your shadow is following you, that should be the same way the blessings of God should follow you and should pursue you. Wherever you go, while you are trying to sleep, the blessings just follow you. Follow you. you are going to take shower, the blessing follow you. You are going to school, the blessing follow you. Just as your shadow follows you. But you can only see a shadow if there is light. Like in darkness, if now it's night, you don't see your, your shadow. Once the light shines upon you, which is the gospel, and you are walking in the gospel, guess what? The blessings will be follow you. Just as your shadow follows you, just as night follows the the power of God, the blessings of God shall be given upon you. So make sure you are saved, make sure you are sanctified, make sure you keep that dearest treasure that you have in you, which is Jesus Christ. If you walk with your, if you have a very nice, expensive uh, wrestle watch, I guess, yeah, a watch from the from the from the wrestle, and then and then you are walking with it. Around to run, guess what? The thoughts may come and just grab it and run away with it. Because they're not taking proper care of it. So, 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 when you have Jesus Christ in your heart, make sure that you keep him inside by consecrating your life every day. Otherwise, the devil will come and you steal it and go and, and, and get away with it. So, make sure you give your life to Christ through salvation, you continue through sanctification, you continue through consecration. And that day, that wonderful day, when the trumpet will sound, the Lord will be able to take us heaven. Yeah. May I be counted in that number? May you be counted in that number? As we sing the song and then we pray, let's ask God to make us special jewel. <clears throat> in our houses also, let's keep ourselves pure. Let's keep ourselves clean. Yeah. So that when Jesus comes, we'll be able to...
to go with him and speak up this story. Remember, you are special. Amen. You are special. Amen. I said you are special. Amen. May the Lord make us special. Amen. Let's stand up and sing 212. You may stay. 212.